Today, personal trainer Raphael Mamoli is here. He has a great full body workout for you. And Dr. Sheila Foreman, a psychologist who specializes in emotional eating, is going to help you get over emotional overeating. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Great to have you both hey, here Brett. today. Good to see you. Dr. Thanks Foreman, for welcome you, back. Thank you. So, Raphael, you are a big guy. You're what, 6'4? 6'4. Mm -hmm. 210 pounds. 210. Yeah. And this is actually the downsized you, right? Yeah, downsized because uh, uh, I got really tired of the. Uh, uh, old routine, you know, heavy weights and mm. uh, a lot of eating, and I uh, wasn't having fun anymore at the gym. So I decided to make the beach change in my life, and I started getting involved with beach volleyball. Mm. They can slim, slim me down a lot, actually, and uh, I was having a lot of fun. So the entire routine changed. So you're working sure. out a lot outdoors and out more? Yes, I do. I do, as a matter of fact. With minimal equipment? Uh, minimal equipment, minimal amount of weight. I uh, do a lot of functional training, a lot of core, a lot of uh, drills on the sand. Uh -huh. I like to run and sprint on the deep sand, and uh, I, I used to train that way. So, and that, and you're going to show us that later in the show, I believe. You've got you're going to show us uh, what you're doing out there. Oh, we'll <laughs> <laughs> and take I us a lot to do you. down there. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's true. But uh, well, we'll uh, do it in the studio, but it'll be safer too. <laughs> we're going to bring some sand over, and I have a lot to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the volleyball game. Forget the interview. Okay. You know? uh, <laughs> Count me in. But, uh, but anyway, I will show you something uh, um, that I do quite a lot with my clients mm -hmm. and it's functional training. So I, I, I find out that with the years, the, uh, uh, the type of training has been changed. Yeah. There's been a, a transition, so more. So, so what, what is functional training? Well, functional training is basically everything that in, in, engage your natural movement in the human body and uh, engage a lot of core movements. And there's a combination of lower extremity and upper extremity all together. So it's very natural. It's not really like a, a forced uh, uh, linear movement. Like you do have a lot with the machines at the gym. Mm -hmm. So, and that's I think is more uh, as, as more benefit for the clients than uh, than a, a usual uh, workout uh, at the gym. So, um, we were talking about things like running on the sand and that kind well, of stuff. Well, that, that's more like cardiovascular. Cardiovascular. Um, I mean, it's something that you have to integrate on in your training. Obviously, I mean, if you're trying to lose weight, you can't just expect to do weights and lose weight. That, that's not the way it works. You have to combine the three components, which is diet, good diet, cardiovascular efficiency training, and strength training, okay? The, the three particular things that you have to always integrate in your lifestyle. And again, uh, if you're not capable to make that change in your lifestyle, you're not gonna get the results. So it's really a matter of power of mind. Mm -hmm. And that's the most difficult thing that people are encountering yep. today, is the power of mind to really you know, plan, execute, and achieve the goal. And this is in, with anything in life. It's not only training. Mm -hmm. I often feel, you know, that you know, I don't know, that ninety percent of the shape you're in is the eating or the nutrition. You know, <laughs> even more than the workout sometimes. Um, do you see that in your clients? I mean, um, Dr. Form is an expert in emotional eating. Uh, do you do you see that a lot in your clients that people are eating? Not because they're hungry, but because they have some other issue that they're dealing with. Well, I, I would say, uh, to be honest, that yes, that's the, ma the main issue is the diet. Mm -hmm. So are they not capable of controlling themselves or to really make the change of, or, you know, just get rid of the bad habits and just start doing something well for yourself. And, and that's, the most, that's the biggest challenge for me. I mean, I can't be home for them and you know, go and check the refrigerator for them. It, <laughs> it's, it's not possible, so you kind of have to trust them. But all I can do is just tell them what they need to do to improve themselves. And then, you know, it's up to them. That's their decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing else that you really can do unless they, they're gonna start hiring some cook, you know, and, and eat perfectly every time, but that's... Well, what if we send him off to therapy here with Dr. The, Foreman? So, I, Dr. Foreman, how are you going to deal with the emotional right. overeating? He's so right. You know, I have this expression, the best diet begins in the mind. And what I mean by that is any diet that's, uh, any diet rather will work, diet that you might recommend will mm -hmm. work if the person's emotions are in check. But anyone who's an emotional overeater, when the emotions take control and they go into that food, whatever it is, whether it's overeating carrot sticks or ice cream, it doesn't matter, no diet's going to work. So what I do with my patients is I help them manage their emotions. Do you have clients who overeat carrot sticks? Yes, I do. Really? Honestly, I do. That's why <laughs> I do. Because they feel like they're, any food that you eat outside of physical hunger is, by my definition, emotional eating. Mm. So you've got someone who gets a bag of the, you know, the, the little carrots, the two-pound bag, and they're munching it all day. Even though it's carrots, and sure, that's a better uh, nutrition choice than M&Ms, let's say. Mm. But 
if you're still eating a two pound bag of, of mini carrots all day, you're eating emotionally. And so I can send them to Raphael for training, but if they don't have their emotions in check, two things are going to happen. One, they're not going to manage their diet, and two, it's unlikely that they're going to follow through with the discipline required to do a physical um, exercise program right. that's going to get them the results that they want. So I work really hard with my patients to help them cope with their emotions in other ways so that they're then free to follow a diet or an exercise plan that takes right. them to their health goals. Are there general things that you do to help people do? I'm sure everybody's situation is different, mm -hmm. but are there things that you see over and over again? And Absolutely. The first thing I do is I make food conscious for people. We do so much unconscious eating, we don't even pay attention to it. We're driving in our car and we're, we're munching down. We're sitting in front of the uh, television, <laughs> we're eating. We go to the movies and we buy the, 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 the large popcorns and we're eating. So the first thing I do is I make food conscious and create a choice. Are you physically hungry in this moment while you're eating your popcorn, or are you emotionally hungry? If you're emotionally hungry, you still can eat the popcorn. I never take food away from people because it's really their coping mechanism. But I create a choice. Okay, today you're really stressed out. You had a bad day at work. Okay, one choice is to eat you know, a, a, a pint of ice cream. Okay, that's a choice. But another choice might be to go for a run. Another choice might be to call a friend. Another choice might be to take a bath and relax. And those other coping skills are the healthier, more constructive coping skills. So with my patients, I kind of work on two levels. One is to make their relationship with food conscious so they are aware, and then create the choice of how to cope with their emotion, whether it's turning to food or hopefully over time learning to turn to other more constructive coping skills. So what do you think of that? Um, do you have a similar kind of approach, or how do you deal with the people well, who are overeating carrot sticks? <laughs> only if we just carrot sticks. Well, yeah, there's also another factor that if they don't eat well, right. they won't be able to train mm -hmm. well. So the fact that you follow a good diet allows you to have a good energy, a good mm -hmm. recovery time so that your body is ready for the next session. If you don't do that, you're not going to get the result, or you will get the result, but in the long term, yeah. okay? I mean, what's, what's the interest on that? You want to get in good shape, you know, and, and feel better about yourself when in a short amount of time. Otherwise, like a waste of time and money. So, you know, diet is definitely, I would say, is the, the biggest factor on, on, on the whole component. So. Um, I can stress enough with my clients about that, and you know, when they get it, they get it. And do they do they get it, or uh, some they some they do they do get it. Some other they just you know they're not willing to give up little things or go and get you know the uh, coffee latte at the, the cafe every day or I don't know the dessert or whatever after dinner, and it's like you know you have to kind of be willing to do that. That's the whole thing. And so for the, but I guess they're the ones who aren't willing to make the change, or how do you deal with those who? The ones that are willing to do the change? Well, that aren't, or maybe no, have they, trouble they, making, want to make the change but don't know how to, or? Well, what the, the, the suggestion I can give it to them, and I can always give a suggestion about diet, um, but they also can go to a, di a dietitian. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, there's a lot of magazine out there that can help you with the diet. It's not a big deal. I know they have to kind of uh, spend the time, research, and you know, just apply what, what you see and what you learn. It's like anything in life. I mean, if you're really lazy, then you get a cook, and it cook for you. It cooks for you all the time. I, mean, I like that yeah, idea. I, idea. <laughs> I would love to have it. But I can't afford it. <laughs> well, we'll be right back with Raphael Mamoli and Dr. Foreman, and we are going to work out. So get up off that couch. And we are back with Raphael Mamoli and Dr. Sheila Foreman today. Raphael has a great full body workout. So we're, what are you going to do for us today? All right, we're going to start with the... Uh, we are uh, in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have some fun. Uh, it's a full body workout. And uh, what I believe is, is always to stay stick, stick with the basic, okay? Basic movements, but do it well. The great form, uh, moderate weights, and high reps. That's a good way to kind of build your muscular endurance. Okay. All right. So we're gonna start. Always want to start with the biggest muscle groups, which are, which are legs. So we're gonna start doing this. You're gonna hold this. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna show you exactly <laughs> how we're gonna do that. And then I call it Russian squats. Okay. We're gonna stand shoulder width apart with your feet. And oh, you 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 can hold oh, I this. Get to carry no, hold the okay. I got enough workout today. So we're gonna go down like this. We squat down and. We come up, you want to maintain your posture. This, the, the, your, your spine needs, needs to be in a neutral position, okay? So if you look on the side like this, my back is always in a neutral position. I'm not going to lean forward this way. 
Right. Or okay. back like this, okay? It's always in a neutral position. Go ahead. Yeah. Try but, but if you're tall, I mean, don't you have a tendency to lean forward? I'm impressed that you don't because... Well, you know what? It doesn't matter because it's, this, it's the mechanic of the movement. You, there is nothing you can do about that. You, so your knees have to go over your toes line. That's normal. It's natural. That's perfect. That's perfect. You can come a little, lean forward a little bit more with your upper body. That? Perfect. Right there. Okay. Right you want to okay. keep your heels always down. The entire the base down. of the foot is always down. So it's yeah. on your toes, not on your. No, or it's on, a, on the heels. Yeah, on the heels. heels. Okay. So the heel stays down. They don't. You Helps don't lift your heels. Helps when you have heels on, you know. <laughs> right. That's I exactly, usually that's don't. Kinda, <laughs> not ideal for a workout to wear high heels. <laughs> I'm <laughs> cheating okay. a little bit here, Raphael. I'm Keep cheating. going. Very nice. And then it's five, six, you seven. You can lean forward a little bit more. more? Like Perfect. That? Right okay. there. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, got it. You look pretty good, Craig. <laughs> I think you've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going down far enough? All right, enough? good. Okay. You're going down enough. Though, so that, you don't have to, you know, it's, they all say, is that they say, oh, you, you don't have to go over the, the toes line with your knees, which is it's impossible. For a tall person like us, there's no way you can do it. So you can go over the toe line. Yeah, it's normal. That's the, the normal mechanical movement of your human body. So there's nothing else you can do. Now, the second exercise I want to do is for your hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Uh, and actually gluteus, hamstring, and quads again. So it's an overall good workout. It's called lunges, okay? We're gonna do power lunges. Okay. So from this position, I want you to step forward, this way, down, and back. So what happened is we change in dynamic, okay? It's a change of direction. And I'll alternate with the other leg again, and back up. Oop, I'm getting behind. Excellent, so we, we keep on, doing Greg, that. Keep Go ahead, <laughs> doing, doing 20 times. 20 times? Yeah, 20 times, that's 20 reps. 20. Alternating legs, go ahead. Okay. Very nice. And four, you're looking good. So you're like Five. a foot taller than I am too, Greg, Same as you're all the way here. up. You want to always maintain your, uh, your spine in neutral position. It's very important. Now, Whoops. the great thing about this <laughs> exercise is that it engages Keep the going. stabilizers mm -hmm. because you're losing the frontal plan balance. And the stabilizers are where? The stabilizers are the uh, anterior uh, tibialis. Which, which is? is right in the front here, okay. in the front of the front. lower leg. Okay. Uh, the peroneus longa, which is on the side here. And then we have the abductus, which is the outside of your I upper think leg. I did 20. You did 20? <laughs> I think so. Okay, I'll trust okay, you. Okay, I know. You'll play and the then, tape back. And then the abductus, which is the inner, inner thigh. So it's a, lot of, it's a great workout for women in particular. Oh, so, uh, But one of the things that happens in general is that people that don't work enough on a lateral movement. And that's what happened with the athletes. Uh, basketball players, tennis players, they're always engaging these muscles. We don't. Human body is always working on a sagittal plane, always frontal, 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 but there is not enough on this. So a lot of, a lot of time people are having problems running uh -huh. because they're not having enough support on their, on their joints. And that's when they, they, they're having problems. So now the next exercise, what I want to do is um, push-ups. <laughs> you guys are on your ways for this one. Sorry, boys. I want to see yes, your yes, yes. <laughs> Come over here. Oh, no. Now, it's, there is one of the things with the push-ups that I, I, uh, I noticed is that with my clients is that uh, it's not about how much strength you have on the upper body. It's more how strength you have on the core. What happened when they do push-ups? Let's see how much st strength in the core <laughs> Dr. Foreman has. Oh, so I'm going to show you. So, okay. What do you want me to uh, can do? You do a, first of all, can you do push-ups on a full length? No. Okay, so I you're going to do, do it on, on your knees. knees. That's fine. I'm going to check your form. Okay. Is that pretty calm? I mean, women really do the push-ups that way on the knees. Though. Yeah, that's because they don't have enough uh, have strength enough on the upper body, body which is that's, that's a generality, which is it's, uh, the you case. You need to do more bench though. presses. Right. I was no. going to say, that could change over time as I get, <laughs> yes, as I get stronger, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, right, right now, I'll just lie prone. <laughs> go, go ahead. So I want to see a good distance between your hands. So it has to be something like this. If I do this too narrow, mm -hmm. I'm going to engage a lot of my uh, triceps. Okay. And I don't want to do that right now. I want to really work on my chest. Okay, so, so my it's hands will be, go outside the right. mat a little bit. So right. you're going to be in your knees, which is this, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the tennis is to do this. Okay. The I'm upper extend your, uh, their, their lower back, yeah. which is not good. You want to always activate your abdominals, mm -hmm. okay, and maintain the strength on the core. Now, you're going down. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Breathe out when you come up. Breathe in and out. I'm going to continue doing that. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. You see, it's a straight line here. This, this area has to be okay? all activated. Very nice. Keep going. Keep going. Very nice. <laughs> I hope you have insurance, Greg. <laughs> yeah. That looks pretty good. Yeah, MTs, very nice. MT's on the way. 
And Very just remember, good. if you collapse, this show is on YouTube. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we got that, guys. <laughs> you can do a show on hot flashes too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now what I, I wanna, demonstrated the girls. When I want to do it, uh, integrate the Swiss ball, which I think is great for uh, um, functionality training for balance. Um, and I'm always a lot of fun with that. Now I want to see you, Greg, doing this. You put your put your knees in here like this. The other oh, foot on the side. It's like no a tripod here, okay? Can you see it's a tripod? So maybe three points of, of support. And now what I want to do is a single dumbbell pull. So this is what I'm going to do. What happened here, because I don't have balance, I have to engage my core. Instead of sitting in a machine and doing this, this is the old way. Yeah, Remember, right. that's Arnold Schwarzenegger, all those guys, which is great. I mean, but. If you want to get bigger, it's fine, but that limits the amount of free motion in your body. You don't want to do you that. You know, I, when you were saying that, you were starting to sound like Arnold when I you were know, talking. I know, I know. I should have mentioned that. Damn it. Like, oh, it's him. So go ahead. Put your knee and be careful. Okay, so um, the knee on the ball. Right there. Now, the, okay. the other foot, as far as you can, right, right there. That's perfect. And bring that knee a little bit back. <laughs> See, this so is karma, Greg, for like making that. me do that. <laughs> okay, so. You're, you're, you're pretty good. That, you're pretty, pretty good. good. Go, go ahead. And then I'm and just. And then pull, yeah. And keep your back straight all the time. Straight, okay. Straight. Is that okay? And, yeah, you don't want to swing your back, though. Keep your back steady. There we go. Okay. Full range of motion. All the way up. Good. Keep going. That looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you in the circus next time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel Very fully nice. qualified to be in the circus at the moment. <laughs> All right, good. That's you enough. That looks pretty good. So this look? is a way to do uh, your single dumbbell, or, uh, you know, up your uh, typical way to do it, which is this one. If that's too much, also you have to understand when you start using when you start doing exercise like that at a little kind of advanced, mm -hmm. uh, you can't do that with all clients. So you have to kind of progress. There's always a progression. Yeah, everything up to that. Yeah. yeah. Instead of doing this, you want to do something like this. Okay, that's steady. There's no. Do you think Dr. Foreman is ready for that? <laughs> no, she's not. But I have a question for you. A lot <laughs> sure. of the patients that I work with who are overcoming emotional overeating are carrying a lot of extra weight. Mm -hmm. So do you do you take that into account when you create a program for Absolutely. them? Absolutely, right? you okay. have to. Yeah. Right. So when I, you're saying this is too advanced, that you probably wouldn't I will not have them do it. No. Okay. And I will not have them, you know, running because of the overweight. Yeah. What you want to do instead of running, do a power walk. Okay. Power walk has the same eff eff effectiveness as running. Mm -hmm. You can burn the same amount of calories as running, but with the fact that you're not pounding your joints, so there's not that, that impact okay. on the joints, which is great. And a lot of people actually don't know that. I see overweight people running. Right. And then they, they, they complain that they, they have problems with their knees. Dude, you can't do that. Because I recommend exercise as a wonderful coping skill when you're feeling stress or anxiety. So working out or going for a, a power walk would be a wonderful tool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so now we're going to do, I want to have her, come over here. Let's take this guy here. Okay. See how, how we can do that. Right, so sir. I want to do walking lunges. Walking I'll show lunges. you a combination of lower body and upper body, okay? And that's what I call functional training. Um, now, what I want you to do, I'm going to show you first, and okay. then you're going to do it. Okay. So it's a walking lunge. Before we did power lunges, right. change of direction. Now we're going to continue walking. So I want you to hold this dumbbell right here. Okay. And I want you to step where you're going to alternate in legs. Mm -hmm. But every time that you go down, you're lifting up the weight okay. and coming back up. Now alternating leg, up, and again, OK? Mm -hmm. You're going to do it three, four times okay. for our purpose. Mm -hmm. And, and where's this hand? Just down? Oh, oh, right here in oh, your in head. There? Okay. 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 So and a right lunge, there, lift and it up, up and back up. And then Very nice. Alternating down. leg. Okay. Like beautiful. Ooh, Keep going beautiful. one more time. Okay. It looks pretty good. Very good. It looks pretty good. Wow. The great thing about this, and again, a combination of upper body, lower body, you have to engage your you core to, to do this you. type of thing. But you know what it is? It's the heels. Yeah, I know it is. I, I, know. That's, that's, I know. That's a I trick. cheated. <laughs> <laughs> that's a trick. Very good. That was good. So now we're going to do biceps, OK? OK. And how I'm going to do biceps, I'm going to have you actually stand on one foot with this one again. OK. Now we're going to in, in, uh, uh, integrate the balance again, OK, which is one of the factors that uh, we should work, actually, on that. In particular, why? Because when you're getting older, uh, you kind of lose the reflex and things, you know? 
if you, for example, I don't know, you trip on the stairs, you can catch yourself quickly if you train on that way, okay? Older people, they, they're having those problems, so it's not a joke, but. Do you have uh, clients who are falling down the stairs? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I actually yeah, had to. But age is not the issue. Oh, oh you were asking her? I'm sorry. Then you were asking me. It's like, whoa. Actually, I'm just curious. Well, I actually had a client that did. And uh, it was unfortunate. But, um, yeah, you know, he's, he's training. So mm -hmm. it, it actually was good that he was training. He would have probably hurt himself a little bit pretty badly. So, it was, it was that, you know. Now, what I want to do, uh, so you're going to stand on one foot like this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do. This is harder on heels. Now I'm getting paid back. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to stay like this. When you're doing, you're going to do a bicep curl here, maintaining the balance on the other. Uh, perfect. Okay. Do 10 of those, three and four. Breathe. Okay. Breathe out when you come up. Good. Very nice. Craig, you're amazing, man. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a statue there. Like, uh, I'm starting to feel like a statue. There is <laughs> stuff at the moment, you know. Uh, okay, and then obviously you have to you have to do side. the other side. Right. Now tricep. What I want to do with tricep is the same thing. I wanted to stand like this again, balance. Bring your arm up like that. Now do the other arm. Okay. Left. Okay, good. And now you're gonna do your uh, Which right leg. I'm sorry. Okay. Your right leg. And like this, I want you to extend. We're doing a kick back, but now you're working your balance again. So there's a lot of work oh, on your yeah. core. Mm -hmm. le le lean forward a little bit more. So just trying to bend stand your knees. Up. Bend your knees at the front here a little bit more. I'm okay. counting. No, you do, you have to <laughs> I, I will work on this during the commercial. Uh, we will be right and... back. <laughs> I'm going to get my 10 in. We are back with Rafael Mamoli and Dr. Sheila Foreman today doing a full body workout. Okay, what have you got? What's the last workout here for us, Rafael? Here we go. We got abdominals. I like to finish with abdominals. I think it's always a, a good part of workout. Dr. Foreman, do this with you? I would love to. Okay. <laughs> All right, move over. Well, it's scoop over. <laughs> there's only room uh, one There's, there's only one map there. So <laughs> I've, been, I've been a gentleman. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, so now I want you to, to bring your legs up like uh, that. Got it. Hands here on the side. The tendency with people is to have Back, yeah. and to pull the neck. Don't mm -hmm. do that. Okay. Keep it just on the side. You're tucking yep. your chin and come up. Okay. And breathe out. And in and out. Keep going. Uh, keep going. Very nice. Oh, the idea Dave. of keeping the legs like that is to work also the lower abdominal part. Okay. Yeah, keep going so well, thank you very much, Raphael, for being here today. Dr. Foreman, keep your workout. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.